Hello, my name is Deacon Jeff Copson, and I am the privilege of ministering at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish in New Berlin, and I'm here today to share with you a gospel reflection for Wednesday, June 3rd. Our gospel day comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 18 through 27. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take up his wife and raise up descendants for his brother." Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman and died, leaving no descendants. So the second married her and died, leaving no descendants, and the third likewise. And all seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they rise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? When they rise from the dead, they neither marry or are given in marriage but they are like angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read from the book of Moses in the passage about the burning bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. You have been greatly misled. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel today reminds me of a time back in my youth when I attended St. Rita's Catholic School in West Dallas. Uh, one of the parish priests would come in, oh, about every two or three weeks and hold religion class for us. And in the older grades, in grades 6, 7, and 8, there usually was once every quarter or semester where we could ask any question we wanted. And some of us more mischievous guys would always try to come up with questions to stump the priest. For example, when I was growing up, you could not meet, eat, on, eat meat on Fridays. So one of the questions one of the guys would ask would be something like, well, Father, what happened if you got up in the middle of the night and you looked at the clock and it said 11.59 and so you quick, quick ate a hot dog, but then you found out the next morning that your parents set the clock back because of central daylight savings time. Is that a sin? And then we'd wait for the, the priest to respond, but we always would be trying to stump him. Well, that's kind of like what the Sadducees were doing today in today's gospel. They were trying to stump Jesus, trick him into something to show that he really didn't know what he was talking about. Now, the Sadducees were a group of Jewish leaders that did not believe in the resurrection. And the reason I believe they didn't believe in the resurrection is they followed literally the first five books of the gospel. That's all they follow. And those, those are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And in one of those chapters, chapter 25 of Deuteronomy, it tells us a little bit about the background of what they were questioning. Uh, it says there, starting at verse 5, when brothers live together, and one of them dies without a son, the widow of the deceased shall not marry anyone outside the family, but her husband's brother shall go to her and perform the duty of a brother-in-law, which would then be to raise up 
descendants in their name. So using that particular portion of the law, they came up with this exaggerated question about seven brothers and none of them being able to raise descendants and whose wife will they be? Well, Jesus took that head on and said, they didn't really understand what the resurrection was because we are not just resuscitated, we are resurrected to new life, as Jesus pointed out. And as far as God not being a God of the living, he quoted from Exodus, Moses' talk with God, where God tells him that he is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Not that he was their God, but he is their God and continues to be their God. See, our God is a God of the living, and that's what Jesus kind of brought up for us today. But it's a good, good thing for us to really reflect on this gospel of what our beliefs of the resurrection are. We just finished the Easter season, Easter Sunday, where we celebrate Jesus rising from the tomb and being resurrected to new life. And all through that Easter season, we renew our baptismal promises. And the last one we ask ends with, do we believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? And we all respond, we do believe. We also profess our creed each and every time we go to Mass. And after giving our our, our commitment to God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We proclaim at the end of each of those creeds, whether it's the Apostles' Creed or the Nicene Creed, that we believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. That is a foundation of our Catholic faith. It's something we profess and we say we believe in. St. Paul, in five of his different letters, tells us that that resurrection, that life, is something promised to us. He tells us in Romans chapter 8, 1 Thessalonians chapter 6, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and Philippians 3, this kind of statement. If Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is alive if right because of righteousness. And if the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also. See, even after Jesus' death and resurrection and ascension to heaven, Paul had to really work at convincing and helping people understand what the resurrection was. And it wasn't only Christ who would be raised up. It was a gift that Christ Jesus gives to his disciples then and now that we too will be raised to everlasting life. Our bodies, our mortal bodies will come to life at the end of time. So today's gospel, I think, asks us to reflect on the resurrection? Do we hold firm to our belief, to that Catholic teaching, to that Christian teaching of the resurrection and that gift from our Christ? Do we live that out in our daily lives? I think it's important for us to ponder the gift of the resurrection and how our lives and how we are called to live out our lives each and every day to show our faith in that teaching of Christ Jesus. Thanks for joining us today for this gospel reflection. God bless you all and have a great day.